everyone and welcome back to my channel so you guys i finally did it i finally got me a silk press for the new year so today is january 2nd when i got my silk press and i'm just showing you guys this is all my hair right here and when i tell you i love my silk press i don't know why i didn't get this sooner but i know better now so it's been a couple of hours since I've got my silk press and this is how it looks. And um, I didn't get any um, salon footage. I'm sorry guys. It was just, I haven't been in a salon in like over 10 years you guys. Yes, it's been like 10 years because the last time I went to a salon I got a perm and my hair fell out and I was just not with it. So I just been doing my hair ever since and um so this person was um, my hairstylist was recommended to me by my cousin so because her hair looks bomb all the time so I was just like girl who be doing your hair so I was like I want a silk press but she gets a perm but I was like I need somebody that really knows how to do a silk press so she recommended this hairstylist to me and I seen her website and I think she does an amazing job so I was like let me check it out and then also it was kind of like you know, I haven't been in a salon in a, in a long time, so I didn't know what was going to be the vibe like. So I didn't want to go in there and be like, hey, can I record this process? So, yeah. So I just kind of want to tell you a little bit about my salon experience. I think it was really great by hairstylist. She knew exactly what she was doing. She was asking me questions like, you know, like, do I have problems with my scalp? Do I deal with any dandruff? She was asking me, um you know if I was tender headed um she asked me if um do I have excessive shedding and then um she also complimented me saying that um my scalp was really clean because she's like normally people who have like a lot of hair it's hard for them to like really get their scalp clean so she noticed that my scalp was really clean and she's like you whatever you're doing to um as in your washing washing your hair she was like keep that up because your scalp is really clean and at that point I think like um I think my hair I hadn't washed my hair in like two and a half weeks so that was cool um so when I first got there um she went ahead and washed my hair so first she did um a clarifying shampoo then she did a detox detoxing shampoo and then after that she did a hydrating shampoo then she conditioned my hair and put my hair under um and then put me under the steamer and when i tell you all that steamer was really refreshing so i was thinking about getting my own so i was looking at amazon seeing about getting my own steamer because when i tell you that would be a good it's a good investment and then afterwards she um after the conditioner she detangled my hair and washed it out and then she sat me in the chair and then she started to blow dry my hair i'm not sure what she put in my hair during the blow drying process because my back was turned so I don't I'm not sure what she put in my hair I'm pretty sure it was like some type of leave-in and a uh, heat protectant and then she blow dried my hair and then she went when she was blow drying my hair she was going back and forth between a bristle brush and a paddle brush and then afterwards she um after she finished blow drying out my hair she set me under the hooded blow dryer because she was like one of the things that um happens when people do a silk press and it doesn't last that long is because the person's hair is not completely dry because most people think that after you blow dry your hair that your hair is dry but sometimes that's not always the case so she set me under the hooded blow dryer to make sure that my hair was completely dry and then after that so i sat under the blow dryer for about i believe I want to say it was like a good 20, 10 to 20 minutes. And then after that, she just checked my scalp to make sure my hair was dry and all of that. And then afterwards, she started the flat ironing process. So she did do the chase method with a, um, with a comb. And then um, I believe she was using one of those vibrating... Um, flat irons because every time she would like shut the flat iron it would just make that noise so i believe it's one of those vibrating um blow dryers i mean not blow dryers but vibrating flat irons i didn't ask her but i assumed it was one of those 
and then she just oh i forgot so y'all she also i also booked um for a trim and when i tell you guys she did cut off like a good inch and a half off my hair i was like oh my goodness but you know it had to be done um my ends weren't like super bad but there was kind of like towards the ends it was kind of like little gaps so it didn't look right so she had to cut it off and i was like go ahead girl so my ends right now look full and they're even so i'm really happy about that and i asked her how often i should trim my hair and she's like it should be between like eight to ten weeks so i think what i might do is like every about 10 weeks i'll go ahead and just kind of dust off my ends not do like a whole trim but just kind of just dust my ends off and um and that was about it i think yeah and that was about it and now you guys see my hair so also uh, what i do to maintain my hair is i use the design essential silk essentials gloss so i put that on my hair every night i like that i like this gloss because it doesn't weigh your hair down like my hair is still like bouncy and moving around and stuff like that so it doesn't matter how much of this um gloss you use so that's why i've i've been using this gloss for like years i've been actually using the same bottle for years like it lasts a long time and what i do is i wrap my hair every night and then i put on a scarf and then i put my bonnet on on top of that and then in the morning i just let my hair down so that's how i've been maintaining my hair and i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm sorry i didn't get any real like salon footage but now that i know like she's real cool i'm gonna go ahead like the next time i get a silk press i'm gonna go ahead and ask her if i you know i could record the process she did take a couple of pictures of my hair like the before and after um i thought she was gonna send them to me but i didn't ask so baby that's why i didn't get them <laughs> but yeah like um because she was shocked because she was like yo the shrinkage is real she was like because like my hair appointment was booked for like two and a half hours but i ended up staying there y'all for like five hours because she didn't think i had that much hair she was like oh my gosh your hair fooled me she was like the shrinkage is so real so she ended up taking like before and after pictures so i don't know if she's going to put it on her instagram or if she's going to put it on her website we will see but yeah so that was the end of my process i really liked um her salon and i really liked her vibe so i will be definitely be going back there again um the price of my silk impress so the silk impress was actually she calls it a luxe press at her salon and it was 65 dollars. and then um i also booked for a trim and that was an additional 20 and then you know of course i had to tip her so you know i think that's not bad and um yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.